step back into the vibrant era of classic television, and you'll encounter a remarkable gem called the High Chaparral. Behind the scenes of this beloved series lie intriguing tales and lesser-known anecdotes that add depth to its legacy. Did you know that the show's creation stemmed from the producer's desire to craft a Western series focusing on family dynamics amidst the backdrop of the Arizona Territory in the late 1,800 seconds? This unique vision birthed a saga that resonated deeply with audiences, blending rugged landscapes with compelling narratives. While it's easy to appreciate the on-screen drama and the memorable characters, the untold stories behind the scenes often captivate enthusiasts. For many, The High Chaparral isn't just a show, it's a reservoir of moments that linger long after the credits roll. Perhaps there's a scene etched in your memory own that left an indelible mark, be it a poignant exchange or an exhilarating horseback chase. These instances often transcend the screen, embedding themselves in our hearts and minds. Do you have a cherished memory tied to this series? A moment that made you laugh, gasp, or ponder long after the episode concluded? Share your anecdotes and experiences in the comments below. Your stories enrich the tapestry of this timeless series, showcasing its enduring impact on viewers like you. Let the reminiscing begin. A High Chaparral emerged in 1967 as a notable TV western that etched its mark in the genre's landscape. Set in the 1870s, it unfolded the trials of the Cannon family, led by Big John Cannon, a man of resilience navigating the challenges of establishing a cattle ranch in Arizona. The series distinguished itself with a multicultural lens, exploring themes of diversity and conflicts between Native Americans and settlers, adding depth to its storytelling. Alongside Big John, characters like his fiery-tempered brother Buck, the strong-willed Victoria Montoya, and the enigmatic Blue Boy left enduring impressions on audiences. Its distinctive approach went beyond the typical Western fare by incorporating intricate family dynamics, tackling societal issues, and depicting the complexity of relationships amidst the rugged backdrop of the Old West. The show's enduring legacy lies not only in its narrative depth, but also in its portrayal of a diverse ensemble cast, a rarity for its time, influencing subsequent TV dramas. Despite its relatively short run, The High Chaparral remains a revered classic, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture, remembered for its storytelling prowess and groundbreaking representation within the Western genre, continuing to captivate audiences even years after its conclusion. David Rose, known for his work on the Bonanza Season 5 episode The Pressure Game, adapted the theme song for The High Chaparral. This theme became iconic for the series, setting the tone for the show's narrative. Interestingly, Paramount Pictures Studios served as the backdrop for some of the scenes, lending an authentic feel to the Old West setting. Adding to the show's behind-the-scenes lineage, the assistant director for certain episodes boasted a notable heritage being the son of the legendary director Erich von Stroheim. These lesser-known facets contributed to the show's production value and heritage, enriching the viewing experience for fans of the Western genre. The High Chaparral, a TV series from the late 60 seconds, had some surprising connections behind the scenes. For instance, one of its assistant directors had quite the lineage of being the son of the legendary actor, director Erich von Stroheim. This association brought a unique heritage to the show's production. Beyond its run, traces of the series lingered. Even after its conclusion in the early 70 seconds, recognizable shots of the Cannon Ranch popped up in a different show, Gunsmoke, Matt's Love Story, in 1973. The familiar sights of the Cannon House and Ranch provided a lasting connection for fans. Moreover, the casting held some interesting tidbits. Bob Hoy, who portrayed a character related to Don Collier's role, played his younger brother despite being a year older in reality adding an intriguing dynamic to their on-screen relationship. These lesser-known facts shed light on the show's behind-the-scenes richness, from familial ties to lasting visual imprints, keeping the legacy of the series alive even after its conclusion. The term chaparral finds its roots in the Spanish word chaparro, denoting evergreen oak shrublands in California and parts of Mexico. Interestingly, this term not only defines a geographical landscape, but also lent its name to a notable TV series from the late 60 seconds. This series, a Western drama, ventured beyond the stereotypical narratives of its time, 
Amidst its ensemble cast, actors Roberto Contreras and Frank Silver brought prior experience from the famed The Magnificent Seven film franchise. Contreras appeared as a villager in the original movie, while Silver portrayed Labero in Guns of the Magnificent Seven. Their roles in this iconic franchise added depth to the talents they later showcased in the TV series, contributing to the show's diverse ensemble. This connection between the expansive landscapes of California and Mexico and the multicultural talent on screen underscores the richness and depth of the series' casting and its roots in broader cultural contexts. It's a testament to how the series drew from diverse influences to craft its narrative, setting it apart in the TV landscape of its time. The Power of Perception, How Cast Member Affairs Altered the Public Image of the TV Show in the Backdrop of a Celebrated TV Series from the Late 60 Seconds. The shadow of cast member affairs loomed large, reshaping both the actor's public perception and the project's image. Despite the show's acclaim, these affairs shifted the lens through which audiences viewed the actors and the series itself. The trail and intertwined relationships, cloaked in secrecy, unfolded off-screen among the cast members, leaving a blemish on the otherwise admired show. These incidents of personal entanglements rippled beyond the set, altering the way the public perceived the actors involved, and, by extension, the TV show they starred in. The public's idealized image of the actors collided with the realities of their personal lives, creating a complex web of disillusionment that reverberated through vintage Hollywood. Unyielding spirit, the High Chaparral's cast member unstoppable pursuit of dreams in the face of disease. One of the lesser known stories behind the scenes of this iconic TV series revolves around a cast member's remarkable perseverance amid personal challenges. Amidst the fame and success of the show, one actor faced the daunting hurdle of battling a serious illness. This individual's unyielding spirit became a beacon of determination, refusing to let their dreams falter in the face of adversity. Their journey showcased an unwavering commitment to pursuing their passion despite the constraints of their health condition. This tenacity not only inspired the cast and crew but also resonated with audiences, shining a light on the power of resilience. This cast member's unwavering pursuit of their dreams while grappling with illness serves as a testament to human strength and determination. Their resilience not only influenced the series narrative, but also left a lasting impact on those who witnessed their unwavering dedication. The story of their relentless pursuit of success despite the challenges they faced remains an inspiring tale of courage and perseverance. Their story didn't end with personal triumph, it extended beyond their struggles. This cast member leveraged their experiences to advocate for awareness and support for others battling similar battles, becoming a voice for those navigating similar adversities. Their journey through illness and their unwavering dedication to their craft continues to inspire, reminding us that the pursuit of dreams knows no bounds, even in the face of formidable challenges. As we bid adieu to our journey through the tales of that iconic series from yesteryears, it's time to let nostalgia take the reins. A high chaparral, a canvas painted with grit, valor, and frontier tales that resonate across time. I implore you, dear friend, to take a moment and unearth the cherished memories this masterpiece might have ignited within your soul. Perhaps it's the rugged landscapes that transported you to the Wild West, or the indomitable spirit of its characters that linger in your thoughts. Was it the captivating allure of the canon family's trials and triumphs that captivated your heart? Or perchance, the resonance of loyalty and honor that still echoes in your mind? Whatever your connection, your tale is a treasured part of the legacy woven by this exceptional show. Let your reminiscences flow, your thoughts paint a vibrant portrait of what this timeless series meant to you. Share your reflections, your anecdotes, your most cherished moments, for within them lies the essence of the High Chaparral's enduring magic. Your words, like whispers carried on the winds of time, become a testament to the impact this series has had on countless lives. Thank you for joining in this celebration of nostalgia and reminiscence. Your participation enriches this narrative with the warmth of personal recollections. Until our paths cross again, keep those cherished memories close, and let the legacy of the High Chaparral continue to inspire and resonate within you. With sincere gratitude for your time and heartfelt reminiscences, 